Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. Who wants to hear about the bluegrass state? Kentucky. Kentucky is a state in the southeastern central part of the United States. Here it is right here. As you can see, Kentucky is a very lucky state. It doesn't share a border with either Mississippi or Alabama. Sucks to be you, Tennessee. Kentucky is a state known for horses, bourbon, and basketball. They're also known for some dude's chicken recipe, certain type of grass, and ridiculously large hats. Kentucky is ranked 37th in size and 26th in population. It was admitted into the Union June 1st, 1792, making it the 15th state. But technically, it's a commonwealth. There's not much of a difference. Technically, they get all the same rights and everything. Back in the 1700s, Kentucky was the place to move to. More recently, and based on the United Van Lines Mover Study, as of 2018, not a lot of people are moving to Kentucky. They are actually ranked as the eighth most moved out of state or commonwealth in the country. But hey, maybe you want to defy the odds and give it a go in the bluegrass state. If that's something you're thinking about, you should probably watch my top 10 reasons not to move to Kentucky first. Number 10, gun laws. Now this one's directed towards people who aren't the gun types. Kentucky has some of the more lenient laws regarding firearms. Now, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, that's up to you. I'm just able to realize there are some people on the planet that don't like guns. In Kentucky, a person over the age of 18 can go in and buy a gun, walk out 10 minutes later with the gun. I have to wait longer for a beer some nights. They're not required to register it or obtain a permit like my beer. The only restriction is to carry a concealed handgun. You must have a license, which can be obtained after an individual turns 21, like my beer. Number 9. The Ohio River the Ohio River runs almost a thousand miles along the Commonwealth of Kentucky. In 2016, the Ohio River was actually labeled the most polluted body of water in the whole entire country for seven years in a row. Way to go, Kentucky. If you move to Kentucky, please don't let your kids swim in this river. But really, the only way anyone ever swims in this river is by mistake, like you fell off a boat or a pier or your plane crashed in the river or something like that. Nobody willingly goes in this river and starts swimming. If they do, they have something wrong with them, like they're on fire. Number eight, deer, turkey, and other wildlife. The deer and the turkey run pretty freely here in Kentucky, and there's a lot of them. Now, for some of you saying right now, this isn't really a reason not to move here. This one is directed towards people that are from locations like Los Angeles and, you know, city places that decided to move to Kentucky. You know, all the people that never seen a deer dart in front of their car or a wild turkey in real life. You will freak out when you see how big and ugly a turkey is. And when I say wild turkey... I mean the kind that comes in feathers, not in a bottle. There are more deer and turkey per capita in Kentucky than anywhere else in the country. So don't be surprised if you see a turkey walking down the street. And like in Oregon, in Kentucky, it's just a matter of time before you hit or almost hit a deer. And to the person right now sitting in like Paint Lick, Kentucky, that's a real place by the way, that's about to proclaim they've lived there their whole life and they've never hit a deer. Congratulations, I wasn't making this video specifically for you. Number seven, the weather. Weather in Kentucky is very unpredictable. It could be 80, say, one day, and then later on in the week, you could be brushing snow off your windshield so you could finally move out of Mudlick, Kentucky. Yeah, that's a real place, too. And Kentucky does get the occasional tornado. They are rare, but it is a thing. Kentucky's another one of those states that gets unbearable heat and humidity during the summer. It gets a little rough. Number six, mold. Kentucky is very humid most of the time, which means outdoor areas that receive very little sunlight or no sunlight, like under decks and things of that nature, they're at risk for mold. Mold is bad. Kentucky is a place with tons of environmental issues. Mold is just another one on a long list. This is a major issue because it can be toxic and lead to all kinds of breathing problems and even it can be deadly. Number five, bourbon. I have bad news for you if you're not a bourbon fan. Kentucky is known for its bourbon, probably because 95% of the world's bourbon is made in Kentucky. So you'll probably feel like an outsider if you're ordering tequila. You shouldn't order tequila anyway. That stuff's bad news, at least for me. 
I'm actually getting that whole gag feeling in my throat right now just talking about it. Tequila should come with bail money. Number four, the drug problem. Kentucky is one of the 10 states with the highest opioid-related deaths in the country. In 2017, there were 24.6 deaths per 100,000 people, and that's nearly double the national rate. Now, to be fair, I saw other studies that had it slightly lower, but it was pretty much the same area. Since 2012, deaths related to heroin have increased from 143 to 311, and the deaths related to opioids have increased from 70 to 465. 70 to 465. What the? When I read numbers like that, I just pray that all the lawsuits go incredibly poorly for the drug companies that are getting sued. Number three, allergies. Kentucky is known for its forests and its bluegrass. The only problem is that bluegrass gives off more pollen than any other breed of grass, which is why in 2016, the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America said that Louisville is one of the five worst cities for allergies in the country. The good news is they have moonshine, and moonshine cures allergies, or at least I think they do. I was in Lexington at a friend's property years ago, and his dad had been drinking moonshine for most of the day. He asked why I was crying. I said, I'm not crying. It's my allergies. I thought he was being funny. He mumbled something about, you know, what cures allergies. He held up his jar of shine and then dropped it. And then he kind of passed out. He eventually rolled out of the chair onto the grass. My friend just looked at him and said, good night, dad. You make me proud. That was a really weird night, actually. That was strange. Number two, air pollution. As if allergies weren't bad enough, Kentucky as a whole has a lot of environmental problems. The mining and the coal production has serious impact on the air quality, especially around the Louisville area. The air quality is so bad that the American Lung Association gave the city a failing grade for pollution in 2015, 16, and 17. Nothing like being a first grade teacher for 20 years and getting black lung. I know that's an extreme, and it's an exaggeration, but still. I just did a video on Maine. Maine has the best air quality in the country, and Kentucky is like a polar opposite. It's like it's his evil twin of air pollution states. And number one, the cost of living. The cost of living in Kentucky is pretty high. Take, for example, utilities. Because the weather's bipolar, it's either way too hot or way too cold, you're going to have a pretty high electric bill. And then when it comes to buying things, Kroger is the main store here. And Kroger sets its prices pretty high. Nothing like paying $5 for a gallon of milk. And please, before you comment on how you get your milk for $4.75 at some other store, just don't. On top of those two, Kentucky doesn't go light on taxes. Besides all the state taxes, some counties actually have an occupational tax, which sucks. Now, before you guys say anything, I understand there's way more expensive places to live in this country, but this is kind of middle America. It's not supposed to be that way. It's supposed to be cheaper. That's the way it is. But Kentucky's breaking that mold. All right, so that's my top 10 reasons not to move to Kentucky. Kentucky is a great state, has great people. These are just 10 things you should consider before you move there. Don't forget to hit all those buttons down below, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.